here at John Lewis Middle School in Waukegan, Illinois, seventh and eighth grade students can choose to take botany as one of their elective classes. The school's greenhouse was built using a grant from Abbott Laboratories in Waukegan, Illinois. The purpose of the grant was to teach and inspire students about sustainability. The goals of the program is to show the students the idea of seed to table, that they can start with a seed, plant it, cultivate it, take care of it, harvest it, and actually eat it. So this is the start of a strawberry. John Lewis Greenhouse has three growing systems. The first system is aquaponics. Aquaponics is a way to grow plants using fish as the primary source of nutrition. No soil is used in an aquaponics system. Instead, the fish are kept and fed in tanks. Their waste, which produces ammonia, is taken out of the tanks into additional tanks where it combines with bacteria being grown in other tanks. The combination of ammonia and of bacteria create nitrate. The nitrate in the water is pumped into a large bed, like a pool, where newly germinated plants sit in racks. The roots from these plants soak up the nitrate-rich water and grow into harvestable plants like lettuce, cilantro, bok choy, and other great products. And this will grow about 214 different plants that they can harvest and then give to parents, students, teachers to eat. The second system is hydroponics, aeroponics. This type of growing uses water and nutrients to help plants suspended in the air grow. Our greenhouse has 28 tower gardens. At one time, we had 1,100 plants growing just inside the greenhouse. So that's three strawberries right there. This one's starting to bloom right here. The third system is raised beds. The greenhouse has 24 raised beds. These are the typical outdoor growing plots where seeds are planted in the soil, watered and maintained. Since we live in the Midwest, the growing season for the raised beds is the fall and spring for school purposes, but it is kept going over the summer. Students participate by planting, doing maintenance and harvesting the crops. The first semester students planted the garlic in the, in the fall, so in the spring, the second semester students will harvest the garlic. So it's all about do for the future. There is also a compost bin, which is used to help reduce the amount of trash that is thrown away and to de help develop new soil. The goal of students is to develop a learning experience where students from other schools in the district can come learn all about the amazing things they are doing as middle school students. One of our projects that we're working on is ABC Greenhouse Books. We're using Canva and we're going to make actual books to give to little kids when they come to visit the greenhouse. And when they leave, they're going to have actual books. They wanted to make tie-dye shirts. And you can go to a store and buy tie-dye ink, but it's got lots of chemicals. So the botany class found that you can actually make tie-dyes out of plants. And they're starting their own company called Greenhouse Gear, where they're gonna be selling these tie-dye shirts. Now we're just going into production, but you'll be able to get these on the John Lewis website, and the students will also be selling them over the summer at different farmers markets. One thing that Mr. Green lets us do is he actually lets us come back in the greenhouse for lunch and he'll give us these humongous bowls of salad. It's you, We make them from the vegetables we grow here. They're really good. <laughs> like, like all the lettuce and carrots and cucumbers. We've made salsa, we've made jalapeno poppers. The kids really love smoothie Fridays. It's amazing. It's better than school lunch. <laughs> I enjoy when we're allowed to taste what we make and then spend time with each other and kind of joke and laugh. Sometimes we come to the greenhouse during advisory to help feed the fish and just water our 
strawberry plants. And every Tuesdays and Thursdays, we go to the, we go to the office and we go do the announcements, talking about um, either the fruit or vegetable that we're gonna have that we're gonna be having that day. We try to explain to the students that this is something they can do at home. It doesn't have to be a school thing. And a lot of the students are actually starting gardens at home so they can learn that they can produce foods for themselves at home, which is a great skill that really doesn't get taught in a book, but gets taught here at John Lewis Middle School.